Um, if you're in the military and you're enlisted and you want to become, you're enlisted and if you're in the Navy specifically and you want to become an officer without having a college degree, you're in luck. So let's let's kind of get into this. Um, so when I was in South Korea, I was trying to do anything to be better than I could be in the military. I was going to, um, I was asking, you know, to, to be sent to selection. I was doing this, doing that. And one of the things I stumbled across was this book, thanks to a friend of mine, uh, Michael Feliciano. And it's Surviving Walks, a guide to applying for the Warrant Officer Candidate School. Really good book. And it doesn't exactly address the thing I'm about to talk about, but it definitely prepares you if you're going to be going to walks. So here's what I'm talking about. It is the ability to become a pilot for a Black Hawk. Uh, and that, create, that pretty much gives you the ability to become a Warrant Officer without having to go to college and yeah you're not a commissioned officer but you're still a form you're a warrant officer and we all know what that means without saying it so i mean it, it's just a cool i think it's such a cool thing so i'm gonna pull this up really quickly and you guys can see what it's called so um if you're going into the military and you want to do this it's called street deceit so if you've ever heard of Street to Seat, this is what it is. Uh, and you guys can see this down here. So it's Flight, war flight Warrant Officers. And we'll go, uh, we'll go right here. So here you go. Warrant Officer Flight Training Program or Warrant Officer Flight Training. Pretty much, before your dreams of becoming a US Army pilot, Warrant Officer pilots fly some of the most exciting technical, tech, technology, Technologically, I can't even say the word, advanced aircraft in the world. If you have dreamed of becoming an army helicopter pilot, fixed wing aircraft, yada yada. Okay, we understand it. The point is, what you're going to end up doing is have a high school diploma, be 18 years old, um, pass the SIFT test, and you know get a minimum GT score of 110. You have to do the obviously all the PT exams and everything like that. But point is, you can go in, go to basic, get sent to walks, and then go to Fort Rucker for I believe it's two years of, of, of school. And you'll come out as a, you know, pretty much like a CW1, uh, and you'll be a pilot, a Blackhawk pilot. So that's the first one. The second one is going from uh, Navy to uh, Army pilot. So this is for you Navy guys or gals or whoever wants to be there. Uh, it's called Inner Service Transfer Program. And it's pretty much the same one, enlisted program qualifications. If you're an E1 through E5, um, you transfer over all E5s and above will have their eligibility determined by uh, CG of USAREC. IST applicants are restricted to prior service business rules with the exception of those applying to OCS or WAFT. Uh, you must have an approved form DD or approved DD form 368, must pass a MEPS physical, must meet Army weight and weight standards. Uh, you know, you have to pass WAFTs and you got to go through. Uh, you gotta go through the flight training. But the point is you can go from Navy to Army uh, and that's pretty cool. However, this is where I think it's changing. It says, formerly known as Blue to Green Program, the inner service, okay, so they just changed it. Um, and honestly, I think it's any branch now. To my understanding, this, this program allows sister service members to transfer to active duty service into the army. So any branch can become a pilot or, you know, a, a, like a warrant officer in the uh, in the army, which is, which is cool. I'm gonna make a whole other video just on this. So there's that one, there's inner transfer, and then 
there is just the fact of doing it from. So we're gonna get out of here, Command Shift uh, 5, and all right, and so then here's the path I was planning on taking. It was build my packet, uh, apply to go to walk, take the sift, do all the physical act, you know, activities I had to do in order to get approved, and then go. That was where I was, and it was going great until I didn't take the sift properly like I didn't give it the respect that it needed I think I studied for like I was really arrogant with it I was like I studied like one like one month and then just dropped into the sift um and I didn't get a horrible grade I think the passing grade was like a 40 or something like that and I honestly got like a 35 or some, some shit but the the, the, pa the point is like Give the sift the respect that it needs, then go take it, and you should be good. Also, I had to have eye surgery. Um, I would have passed. I I passed the all the eye exams with glasses. However, my doctors told me that if at that time when they do the test in the simulator where they kind of dilate your eyes and ask you to fly the fly the simulation, um, I would have failed. And. Unfortunately, I didn't have the best NCO at that time, uh, to, and I had been approved for my surgery, and then I was supposed to be sent to another place right on the day that I was going to have my surgery, and I ended up not going, but I canceled my surgery, and so that kind of threw a whole wrench in my thing. It was either wait the next, you know, for a full year to have another surgery, or pick another dream and I ended up just getting out because of just pain and things like that so the point is it's doable it's easy well it's not easy it's doable it's not you know the end of the world break balls kind of process it actually sounds and from my experience it was pretty fun to do all this learn all these things so that's how you can do it you can become a officer essentially without having a high like a, a, a college degree uh, I suggest if you're in or if you're a veteran and you want to get back in and have a pretty cool job uh, look into it I'll leave some links in the description and for the algorithm's sake hit the like button it saves me um, it, it helps me really so yeah thank you guys I hope to see you in the next video and um, happy Veterans Day